Hello, I'm Danny the Guide, and are you ready for today's London snippet of history? Today, we're going to venture into the city of London, down a road called Cheapside, and to the north end of Bow Lane. This is where you will find a churchyard called Bow Churchyard, and of course, a church called St. Mary Le Bow. And legend has it that if any Londoner is born within six miles of hearing the bells of Bow, then they can truly call themselves a Cockney. In other words, a Londoner. Also, legend has it that Richard Dick Whittington in the 14th century heard those bells on Highgate and he called him back to the city of London where he took up a post to be its leader as the Lord Mayor of the City of London. The first version of this church was built around 1080 to 1090 AD, but it was built on marshy land, which meant the structure had to be reinforced with bow arches, hence its name. The only thing to survive, however, of that church is the Norman crypt, which actually has been turned into a nice little restaurant that you can have lunch in. And the reason I say it's one of the only things to survive is because in 1666, the Great Fire of London burnt down the church. To the rescue was one of England's greatest architects, Sir Christopher Wren, who rebuilt the church in its current format in 1680. And one magnificent thing to survive all this time is the spire, at 66 metres tall, it is one of his grandest designs. It also has a beautiful weather vane on the top of one of the City of London's heraldic symbols, a dragon. But unfortunately for Wren's church, on the 10th of May 1941, incendiary bombs dropped down on the City of London during the Second World War and the Church of St Mary Le Beau was gutted. Between 1956 and 1964, Lawrence King redeveloped and redesigned its interior, and it is stunning. The stained glass windows were designed by John Hayward, and there is a lovely bronze figure of Christ on the Reredos by Simon Robinson. And inside you'll find loads of memorials to not just here, us here in Britain, but also to distant lands. Because there you will find a bust dedicated to a local parishioner, Arthur Philip, who was the founder of New South Wales in 1788. So a lot of Australians come to this church when they visit London. Also, outside, you have some American connections because in Bow Churchyard itself, you'll find at its centre statue of Captain John Smith, early founder and explorer of Jamestown, Virginia in 1607 and is said to have been saved by the native Indian princess Pocahontas. But, tread carefully, friend, should you venture through the courtyard of St. Mary Le Beau, as it has a history of disasters. In 1091, the roof blew off and destroyed a row of houses opposite. In the 13th century, the tower collapsed, killing 20 of its parishioners. And in 1284, a goldsmith, was murdered. But the most famous incident to happen was in 1331, a jousting tournament to celebrate the birth of the Black Prince, the bouncing baby boy of King Edward III and Queen Philippa of Hainault. Stands were put up and they collapsed, throwing the Queen and her ladies-in-waiting to the floor. The king wanted blood and wanted to execute all the carpenters, but the queen intervened and she begged for mercy, saving their lives. 
and she secured her reputation as a good-natured, merciful, loving queen. And it's said that Christopher Wren's spire is inspired by the balcony that collapsed that had Philippa of Hainault in it. So there you have it, a London snippet of history on Bow Churchyard and St Mary Le Bow. I hope it has intrigued you to find out more, come to London and explore. I'm Danny the Guide and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. Um, otherwise, I hope to see you in London very soon.